is what we do. It's perfect. <laughs> Hello friends, happy Monday. Uh, today we're doing a, another studio vlog. I don't know the time span is gonna be for this uh, studio vlog, but it is the end of 2020 and there's a lot of tasks to do to prepare for 2021, especially if you are a part of the bullet journal community or a bullet journal YouTuber. We have to do our bullet journal flip through videos and we have to do filming for 2021 monthly videos. So that is going to be in today's vlog in the way of, um, more studio vlog in my shop. I have to do a printable for Patreon and I just want to get back into drawing now that I'm done school. My grades are supposed to come out today so hopefully we can figure out what the heck's going on there. I have a good feeling about it because I feel like I did well this semester but yeah let's get started into some bullet journaling and reflecting on 2020 so we can manifest some positive thoughts into 2021. Hey guys, so it's voiceover Mary Beth here. I hope you enjoyed that little segment right there of some journaling ASMR. Hearing pencil and paper 
or hearing pencil and marker against paper is a sound that I just love so much and find so soothing. So anyway, I wanted to have a quick chat about filling in this spread that I'm working on right here. So for this spread, as I said in like the little caption section of this video, I am writing 20 positive things that happened in 2020. I saw this as a trend on Instagram and I wanted to challenge myself to see whether I could come up with 20 things. And being honest, before doing this spread, I really couldn't think of very much. I really had to like dig through my brain and uncover all the things that were buried by the sadness of 2020. And if you bullet journaled last year, kept a journal or diary or anything like that, flipping back through those pages can really be helpful in coming up with those 20 things. And because of that, I also encourage you guys in 2021 to just write little blurbs on your bullet journaling pages or to start a diary, start bullet journaling. Because those little few sentences that you write about your day, going back and reading them is just so priceless and... I don't know, I, it just feels really good to look back on those things and see like what happened. But um, since, like I said, 2020 was a bit of a dumpster fire, some great things did happen in that year. I won't share and talk about everything that I wrote down in my pages because as my friend Lily NZST said, progress and success looks different on everyone. But a few things that immediately come to my mind when I was writing this spread was that I moved into the city with my boyfriend, I started nursing school in a crazy time, <laughs> and I quit an extremely toxic job. So those are like the three major things that immediately come to my mind when I think of the more positive things of 2020. I really do encourage you to try out making this spread because it really put me in a better headspace moving into 2021. And if you'd like to, drop a few of the positive things that happened to you in 2020. And I would just love to hear about your happiness. Once I finished writing out my 20 things, underneath I wrote a quick little reflection and a summary of my thoughts and feelings after filling out this list. After that, I moved to the right side of the page and just wrote out some of my favorite songs from 2020 because it's always fun in the future years to look back at what your favorite songs were in the past and to jam out to them. <laughs> my favorites included the entire Harry Styles album, of course. Specifically, I really liked Falling and I liked Cherry. I also loved the song Ice Cream by Blackpink and Selena Gomez. It's such a fun, peppy song and I just, I can't stop singing it, even now. <laughs> and then just underneath my little playlist, I wrote some things that I was thankful for, which also, again, just put me in a really positive headspace for 2021. It's just so nice to find what you were grateful for and the positive things in such a crappy year. So yeah, I encourage you to make this spread and if you decide to share it on Instagram, be sure to tag me so I can see it and show it some love. And yeah. Okay, so I just finished writing in my 20 things in 2020. Uh, reflection on that, my favorite songs and things that I were gracious for this year. I have one more column to fill in, which is what I learned and I'm gonna fill this in a little bit later because I'm probably gonna be really personal with it. Maybe, I don't know. Sometimes I get really in my feels and sometimes I don't. So um, main reason I didn't write in this part was because I filled in the right side of the page and as I'm working down the page, I'm probably gonna smear this whole thing so I have to give it some time to dry. So yeah, some good reflections, feeling good, feeling positive, which was what I was hoping for for these spreads. So I'm gonna go get some lunch now cause I'm very, very hungry. It's Mary Beth from Mary Berry Studio and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be flipping through my 2020 bullet journal. And I have to warn you guys, it's really not too much. So I hope you're not too disappointed. Uh, 2020 for most of us has been definitely really crazy and it's been kind of hard to plan.
yes. <laughs> Hello friends and happy Tuesday. Today I wanted to work on my 2021 plan with me video but last night I kind of had a stomach ache and I was up to 2 a.m. so I slept in this morning and because of daylight savings time it's already kind of dark in my room and the lighting looks a little bit blue on the paper so instead I've just been working in penciling in what I want to do for my plan with me video. I find when I pencil things out first that I am less nervous to do, to film my plan with me and I make way less mistakes when I do this. And especially when you have a spread that has every single month and all these numbers on it, you're bound to make mistakes. So penciling it in makes it less likely to happen and it'll make the video flow a lot better, I think, as well. I also realized this morning that I need to film a January plan with me as well. So that's like three videos. That's the flip through, the bullet journal plan with me video, and a January plan with me. Now I could put the January plan with me and the um, 2021 flip through together, but I'm not quite sure if I wanna do that quite yet. It might be a little bit overwhelming for a video. And people might want to watch one part and not the other. I mean, I could put timestamps, but I don't really know what to do quite there. But um, other things I want to do today is I want to finish the Patreon printable that I was working on last night. And I want to stock a lot of stickers because on Black Friday, it went really well. And that means I don't really have any stickers. So I need to work through stocking that again because I may do an after Christmas sale. I'm not quite sure. It's in my mind. So we'll see how that goes, especially after today. See how many, many stickers I can get cut. And yeah, let's go ahead and get to the working day. So I got my photos all picked out for January plan with me and my printer has been clanking around for like 10 minutes now and hasn't printed anything. So that's that on that. And then let's see, I got so many stickers to cut in the sheets because this uh, cutter does not do dual cutting so it can cut the stickers so you can peel them off the sheet, but it doesn't like cut all the way through into sheets, which kind of stinks. Looks like we're printing. All right. So let me just cut these up into little squares and then I'll be good to go for tomorrow. Okay, so it's pretty much the end of my working day. It's almost eight o'clock. I've been working like nonstop since 12. I'm gonna go eat some dinner and watch The Bachelorette. And I'm going to actually work a little bit while I'm watching The Bachelorette. I'm gonna cut the stickers into sheets and pack a few orders that came in. Um, maybe look at what I'm gonna be filming tomorrow. I'm hoping I can get everything filmed tomorrow that way I can relax for Christmas Eve and Christmas and then after that I can come and work really hard and hopefully get you guys a sale going on and have all these videos posted for you guys so let's go watch The Bachelorette
Alrighty friends, here is what I came up with for my 2021 bullet journal setup and my January setup. Both of these planning videos have already been posted and I'll leave the links to them in the cards and the description box down below if you're interested in seeing my process in making them. I think I'm going to wrap up the studio vlog here because the rest of the footage is just long videos of me packing stickers from the New Year's sale I mentioned earlier, as well as drawing for a shop update. So if you're interested in how I make stickers, pack orders, and seeing what I come up with in your stickers, please be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell for when the next studio vlog comes out. I hope you guys like seeing these little behind the scene videos. They're definitely my favorite to film and I feel like I get to connect with you guys more and that we get to hang out for a little bit and we can create together. So thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye!